Why hello there Earthlings! I am back, welcome to another video. It's been another great week of training and I'm so happy to see your lovely faces again. We're getting a lot closer to this race and I'm starting to get a little anxious, ready to go, but I was really happy with how this week panned out. I'll be honest, it started off a little slow, it was a little negative, bad vibes, but we turned it around and we finished off really strong and I know you skipped last time. Don't you dare skip to the end. Don't you dare. You be patient. Patience is a virtue. You wait. Don't you dare. In case you didn't watch last episode, I ended the last week with a 16 mile long run. I went pretty dang fast and for that I was pretty sore and tired the next day. It also didn't help that I didn't stretch naturally, so that's never good. I started things off with just a seven mile run. For this run, I wore the A6 Gel Nimbus 25s, the classic. What's up everybody? It's Monday morning and I'm cold. And my left hammy is really freaking sore. What the heck? I didn't stretch. I didn't stretch, this is my fault. My fault B, get them next time. We're running a nice easy seven this morning. And I'll be honest, it has to be easy. I can't go fast even if I tried. One slow mile in to what, dare I say it, will be an over 70 mile week. Should be a really good week. Let's just get our shit in check. It's 42 degrees. My hands are so cold. Halfway there, folks. Zaki is going through it. feel better than I did in the first mile, though. I can actually bend my left leg. When I woke up, it literally would not bend. I was that tight, I'm like, oh my god. So I got humbled real quick. In case you didn't watch last week's video, I ended with a 16 mile long run at six flat pace. That felt good, but now I don't feel good. I've been talking how I need to focus on rest and recovery, and here I am not stretching. Mile five, and despite all the pain yesterday's run has caused me this morning, it's what we wanted. Maybe I'm not gonna go that fast this Sunday, but the volume is getting up there. I like that, we're gonna keep raising that at least for the next few weeks. I call it a success. This little sassy seven to start off the week. I also had a close call with a mile and a quarter to go. Trail was empty and then right as I peeled off, this dude comes running by and I could see him like looking up like, what the fuck? Dude, I was going through it. And then after that run, I went to work and I proceeded to stretch and I hit up the Theragun. A lot of recovery stuff. I, I've noticed on days when I do do that sort of recovery, I feel so much better the day after. Tuesday didn't go to plan. I didn't have the best day and quite honestly, I didn't run or do anything at all. I woke up and my allergies were killing me quite a bit, or at least I thought they were allergies. They were allergies. I was like, all right, I'll just wait until later in the day. I'll push this back. I just kept sneezing. I kept blowing my nose. It got to the point where I was so frustrated with it. Like I was getting angry. I didn't end up running later because I ended up getting kind of sick to the point where I was getting out of breath doing just anything. And I'm like, all right, we'll just get back after it tomorrow, rest up, and we did so. On Wednesday, we did get back after it, and luckily I was feeling a lot better. And I started off with an eight mile run in the Ghost Maxes, so that was nice. And I was feeling, I was feeling all right. Another thing, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so because once again, we're getting very close to the race and a lot of cool content coming up soon. And hit the thumbs up button, it really helps the video out and helps the channel out. I'd really appreciate it. Howdy folks! It's Wednesday and we're back out here. Not exactly the most highly motivated morning for us. We're just gonna try and knock out eight right now. I will say though, after hitting our first mile here, the mindset's definitely a little more uplifting positive. Isn't that just weird? How moving and doing things makes you feel better. God, if only I learned that sooner. Just turned around at four. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this run was gonna drag. We'll see how the last four go, but those last three kind of just happened in a blink of an eye. I was pleasantly surprised. The legs feel really good, but the weather's really nice, so we're just taking advantage of it. I really thought after yesterday it was gonna be a shit show. I had a horrible night of sleep. I just woke up probably like 10 times throughout the course of the night. It sucks that oh, we had a big week of training, but we're still gonna make it a big week of training. We're gonna be fine. I just hate that we had to take a day off. About to hit mile six here. And I just had a little jump scare back there. I saw this worm, dude. Biggest worm I've ever seen. 
in the middle of the trail. I thought it was a baby snake. And I like jumped over him, like, oh shit. My heart rate spiked and all that. I have such a weird relationship with snakes. Like if one sneaks up on me, I'm not about that. I'm out of that shit, fuck that shit. But if a handler is holding like a 30 foot python, and they're like, you wanna hold it? They're like, hell yeah. Put that shit on my shoulders, dog. Let's go. Spiders, something like that. Snows across the board. Oh man, feels so weird without the stash. I don't know if that was the right decision, man. <laughs> really happy we got those eight miles in this morning. We're back on the log. We're at 15 right now for the week, so we gotta pick it up, but I think we'll be all right. For run number dos, I just did a easy four mile run with the New Balance More V4. It's kind of becoming my double run, like just my shakeout miles sort of shoe. I haven't done a long run or anything super strenuous in this thing in quite a while. I think it's time to just about replace it, if I'm being honest. Back out here for the second run of the day. Gonna do a nice easy four. Weather is once again foreseen. I love it. Two miles in. That went pretty smoothly. Man, two runs in one day. Feeling good in both of them. I've been a really good, productive boy today. Literally just been drawing since <laughs> the last run. Just grinding. Not that you guys really care, but I'm finishing up the last. Finishing, I still have a lot to do on it, but it's my last drawing of the series that I've been working on for a couple years. Once I'm done with that, we can move on. Try and find a show and we'll go from there. Gotta get them all framed. So excited. If you wanna follow along with my art stuff and the occasional run posts, I have an Instagram, not a plug or anything. It's just Zach Salick. I will admit, I don't use that site much like I used to because it's kind of a cesspool. Sick Talk 2.0, they don't let you see the posts by the people you actually follow and nothing is in chronological order. It's just a mess. They want you to get addicted to these garbage reels and ah, can't stand it. And you know, as a guy that spent years like trying to build up an art account, I got a decent following. And then whenever I post my art, you know, because I want to sell it, it doesn't even show it to people. So fuck that site. Four miles in the 12 mile day. Pretty solid comeback. I think it's not unreasonable to hit 70, even if we're only running six days this week. On Thursday, I woke up in the morning and I didn't feel like running. So naturally I found something else to do. But that thing that I did was quite productive. I went down into the gym, did 10 minutes of core, showered, and then went about my day. And I had a lot of other things I had to do, being honest with you. So time kind of got away from me and I became a little discombobulated. By the time I did get a chance to run, it was already kind of late. By late, I mean it was, it was early evening. There were still quite a few hours left in the day, but I had to be somewhere in the city. I did six miles and I just didn't feel good anyway. I, I didn't feel too bad about having to swap the days. For this run, I wore the Brooks Glycerin 20s. I've noticed a theme as well. Around this time of the week, like Thursday, Friday, I start to feel really bad. And then I, I'm like in this valley, and then I come out of the valley come the weekend. Obviously, every week is different, but that seems to be how things go for me. What's up, everybody? It's Thursday. We're not doing medium long today. <laughs> We're gonna push that till tomorrow, and it's gonna be another heavy set back half of the week. Take it nice and easy. I was gonna do seven, but I don't feel good. I do not feel good. And when I say I don't feel good, it just means my legs feel flat, feel tired. Kind of what I felt around this time last week. And you saw how we finished out if you watched last week's video. And what the hell is the deal with today? There are freaking bugs everywhere. I just pulled one out of my mouth. They keep flying in my face. They're nasty. Is it like the time of day or something? Like, ugh. I should be dying by now, right? I hate bugs. I hate them. If they subscribe to me, I'd block them. Not that I'm going fast or anything, because I'm not. Quite the contrary. I don't have a lot of time to dilly-dally with right now. I gotta be somewhere soon. And unfortunately, it requires me to drive through the city during rush hour. That's not gonna be fun. I'm going to this art show tonight. Oh yeah, look at this pompous asshole, right? It's at this gallery that I've been trying to get into for so long. I love going to these things though, in all honesty. They're, they're a really good time and I always leave feeling inspired and creative and just ready to make stuff. It'll be a nice change of pace because 
this doesn't happen every weekend. I think the last one they had was in May. I'm excited. I've had some of my art framed there in the past and they do a beautiful job. It's called James Gallery if you're interested. A beautiful, beautiful gallery. The day after I graduated from college, they actually had an opening and I went there and that was kind of like my first night as a free man. Three miles. Well, could have felt worse. Today I'm just kind of forcing one foot in front of the other and going forward. I'm peeing right now. Isn't it just glorious out here? I'm out four. It's already crunch time, folks. We have less than a month until the 50K. <laughs> I'm nervous. Heading up the final climb into the neighborhood. About a quarter mile to go and I don't know what happened. This always happens, but I have the surge of adrenaline right now. It hit me with about a mile to go and I've just been riding it. Nice little six miler to end the training for today. I'm okay with it. I'm probably covered in bugs right now. I can see like, it's so gross. I can see little black dots out of my peripheral vision. Nasty. So now on Friday, I did 12 miles, used that as my medium long, and it was just a typical medium long. I moved at a pretty moderate pace and felt overall pretty good. Fortunately, I seem to have been a little motivated that day, which is also a big plus. I wore the tried and true Brooks Hyperion Maxes. If you do the math, I was really behind on volume. I was nowhere near where I wanted to be at this point of the week. Monday through Thursday, I only managed 25 miles. That's not good. I'm training for an Ultraman and I'm trying to take this seriously. I'm trying to stay consistent and disciplined. I'm fucking up. This was a heavily backloaded week. It's not always the most fun and I always seem to be running into this issue. But once again, I finished the week very strong, as you'll see, so I'm super proud of that. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm feeling optimistic, but we got 12 miles to go. We've got a lot of miles to run. We're at mile three, and I've slowed down the last two miles or so, but still, I'm going at a moderate pace. I've been getting side stitches. Had one on this side for a while, and now this one's popping up here. That's not fun, but we're a quarter of the way there. Coming up on mile four and a half right here, and I'm so confused. This guy, I was just passing all these houses, and I just hear, get it, Zach. I look over, and it's this dude waving at me. I don't know who you are, but rock on, man. Yeah, if you're a subscriber, that's what I'm assuming you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate the gas. Because honestly, that's what I needed right now. I needed a little pick-me-up. I'm still cramping a little bit. As miserable and painful running can be most days, I fucking love this community. I'm so glad I didn't stick with soccer or baseball. This is where everything truly shines. Fortunately, I think we're past all the cramping now. We just gotta run it home. As long as I can avoid getting hit by a semi or kidnapped by some weirdo, I should be good. Or a biker, apparently, because the last few weeks, I have seen more bikers on the trail than ever. I think they're starting to realize that their time is almost up. Soon this entire trail will be covered in ice. And then the true supreme leaders, the runners, will take over what's rightfully theirs. Whew! I was a little out of breath those last few miles, but we got through them. 12 for 37 on the week. As we move into the weekend, it's Saturday, and Saturday was an utter shit show. It was one of the worst days I've had in a while. It didn't help that I just wasn't having a good day in general, and then you tack on the fact that the weather was absolutely abysmal. It was windy, it was cold, it was raining. Our haunted house is getting fucked up outside. I'm so miserable on this run. I woke up like five minutes before my alarm that morning, and I'm like, Oh my God, I got out and I did it. I ran 10 miles to start things off. I mean, look at these things. I wore the Asics Nova Blast. Look how destroyed they are right now. They're soaked. I don't even want them in the room right now. They should be outside where they belong. When I got home, I didn't even feel happy or fulfilled. I was just so upset. Like day ruined. As much as I like chili and rain, 
I hate them when they're together. It's gonna be spooky for a couple minutes. We're not even a mile in and it's starting to rain. Thank God, mile five. The rain's been coming down the last few miles and I'm so cold. I'm uncomfortable and I hate that feeling when you're cold and wet and your shirt starts to stick to your chest. I've been telling myself repeatedly it'll be over soon. One thing that's giving me a little bit of courage right now, I haven't seen a singular person out, not even on the roads, you know? I'm the only one suffering this morning, apparently. All those bikers I was talking about yesterday or the other day, not a single one. Mile six, still got four miles to go, and I felt it coming on, but this really sucks now. I'm feeling like nauseous, as if I want to throw up nauseous. I went to the movies late last night, saw The Exorcist. That movie was pretty bad, <laughs> but, I think the popcorn is not sitting well in my stomach for whatever reason. I'm also running on little sleep right now. We saw like the latest showing and I didn't sleep well when I got back. That was torturous from start to finish but we made it 47 on the week and we're probably gonna run later but I don't even want to I don't want to talk about it I don't want to think about it sometimes you just have to accept your fate and eventually you just settle in because of it I went to work and I found some time to get more stretching in and more Theragun stuff really broke up that tissue that's all tight and knotted up Saturday wasn't over I got home and to make matters worse, the power's out. Isn't that great? Some transformer on a telephone pole caught on fire and fell into the Oakdale Creek. And that was great, so they shut off the power. And now I'm wet, I'm miserable, and the power's out. I can't do anything. I wanted to like do things. I wanted to be a good boy. I went out for what was gonna be like a three to four mile shakeout, and I shit you not, I got like maybe a little over a half mile in, three quarters of a mile, and I just planted myself. It was even colder than it was that morning. I was just wet again, and I'm already super tired at this point. Things are just not going well, and I just stopped. I just started walking back. I walked for a little bit, and then I'm like, all right, let's just finish out the mile, and I jogged another quarter mile or so to get to the full mile. So I ran one measly mile that evening for a grand total of 11 on the day, and that put us at 48 on the week, which is still, not where I want to be. For that little shakeout, I wore the sock and a Peregrine 13s. I'm getting negative vibes right now. This weather sucks. It's still just miserable. Power's out. <laughs> I saw something was knocked down in the center of town. I'm also very low on this battery, so I probably can't talk much. This thing's gonna die, so see ya. Let's see what's going on up here first. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this on Sunday and I'm pretty beat up right now. Like I've been yawning and I just, I, I need to eat some more first off and I think it's gonna be an early, early night for me. I gotta hit the hay soon. I don't wanna give too much away. I think you should just watch it yourself. I am so freaking proud of how we turned the day around because I was still kind of sulking after yesterday and this morning was not great, but eventually I set out and I'm just like, screw it, man. Just gotta get this long run in. I didn't really know how far I was gonna go. I had a bit of an idea, but I just kept going and going and going and I felt so good. I took out the Saucony Peregrines again, this time because I wanted to see kind of how they hold up under a lot of miles because once again, this is a shoe that I plan on racing in in that ultra come November 11th. They, they held up very good. I think they gave me a little bit of blistering in my big toe, but other than that, I don't really give a shit. 
I kind of look at it as like a battle scar, like I earned this. I'm not trying to mess up my feet before the race, but if they get messed up during the race or even before, like I don't really care, I kind of like it. Long run slated for today. I'm not gonna tell you how far we're gonna go because honestly I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna be out here for a long time. Yesterday was not a very good day mentally, just a lot of things in life, just kind of shitty right now, just being honest, but honestly I just need to be out here and clear my head right now mile two. It's going smoother than I thought it would. I'm honestly not feeling the best today. My stomach just doesn't feel great. That's 50 miles on the week so far. I also just haven't been sleeping well. Not like I have the biggest problem falling asleep, which is normally the problem. Now it's like I can't sleep for a long period of time. I just, I wake up like several times in the night. It's almost like my head is screaming, do something motherfucker, and I don't know what to do. It's interesting. Mile four. So you might be asking yourself, what's the deal? You know, you're supposed to be doing a long run. Why are you turning at four? Well, I just felt like doing a couple out and backs instead. Instead of going all the way out and all the way back, especially since I'm not sure on the number today. So we'll do an out and back twice, get to 16, and then we'll do another one with whatever we deem should be the remainder of the run. This is also nice because I'll be returning to the house at least twice. That means two aid stations. Get a drink if I want, go to the bathroom, change shoes. I don't know how these shoes are gonna hold up for this long. Let's finish our first eight mile repetition. That hurts to say, but feeling good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll get rolling. Before we head out, I'm gonna take one of these goos. It's strawberry banana. All right, and a little bit of water. Let's go do that shit again. Another four miles there. It's 12, 60 miles for the week. We're still chugging along. I'll be honest with you, I had a weird stretch back there. Actually, I'm still kind of going in and out of it. I'm forgetting the wobbles, like, Every few minutes, I kind of have a hard time steering straight. I'm definitely not fueled well today. We'll be okay. It's just really weird for it to be happening this early. It's getting really dark. When I first set out, it was pretty nice out, pretty light. I think we're going to get rained on. Second eight mile rep done, 16 total. And you're probably wondering now, because I still have not said it. We're gonna do six more for a grand total of 22. That'll get us to 70 on the week, which would be awesome. I'm gonna refrain from sitting down, even though I really want to, but we're gonna take another goo. This one is birthday cake. I think that last one I took actually helped me pull through when I was starting to get the wobbles, but I felt pretty good the last few miles, so let's just hope we can make it through the rest. We will. So it's starting to drizzle. All right, fuck it, let's go. You know, it's funny, but also really sad. Those goos should have been consumed today in Columbus. Remember that marathon I was gonna do? Yeah, that happened this morning, and here I am. Guess we're kind of getting after it. Sammy had a good half marathon, so congrats to him. I know you're watching this. Everybody give an attaboy to Sammy, ran 108, but also call him a little, a little bitch, because he couldn't break 108. 10802, what are you thinking? JK, I can't do that. While we're giving shout outs, may as well give one to Maddie, my sister, you know, star of some of these videos. She's officially on the main squad, the varsity team for OK State, their cross country team, basically the number one ranked team in the country. That's pretty badass. Here I am. Some of you may be pulling some sort of inspiration from these videos, which is kind of crazy to me because I don't think very highly of myself. Just know that I'm pulling it from other people. You know, the saying there's always a bigger fish. That's kind of how it goes. All right, folks, three more miles to go. I'm feeling good. We are literally just getting stronger. Ah, I can see the light. 
a mile to go, folks. If I feel like this on race day, we're gonna do just fine. I don't know exactly what pace we've been going, but if I had to guess just based off of cadence and effort, low sevens, high sixes average. We can finally sit. Oh my gosh, 22 miles. I'm just gonna sit here and bask for a little bit. 70 miles on the week. You thought I wasn't gonna get it? You are, you are a silly little dog, you. I finished out strong like 45 miles in the last three days, which is freaking dope, man. It's the longest run I've done in such a long time. Next week, I wanna pick it up a little more volume-wise. And then I guess it's pretty much time to start bringing it back down for the race. Start that taper already. Can you believe it? But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry about the lack of videos recently. It's really just been this video every week and then that's it. And I can do better than this, but I'm also trying to juggle a lot of things as well. So no excuses, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching and 